Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Kevin Jones, your spiritual operator, your unconventional chaplain. Hey, today I want to answer five questions for any of you guys who are new to the Army. So join me. Question number one is, what is an I Love Me book? So hey, an I Love Me book is something that if you don't already know, you will know very, very soon. I will probably do a separate whole video just on the I Love Me book. But when I came in the first time, I believe the first time I heard of the I Love Me book was from my recruiters. So I went to the recruiters and I'm talking to them and they said, bring everything from your I Love Me book. And I was like, what are you talking about? And what I didn't know at the time, being even being 30 years old, is that they're looking for everything from, your, from copies of your social security card and your driver's license to essentially birth certificate, um, graduation um, diplomas and uh, anything and everything about your life that makes you basically look cool. Now, I have here my I Love Me book. Now, my I Love Me book has gone through multiple, multiple, uh, what, progressions? Or it's become very, very thick. But um, what it's really doing and what it really is, an I Love Me book has everything in it. And uh, you get sheet protectors. I put it in a in a three ring binder and obviously that gets bigger and bigger and bigger. But in there, you have everything from literally uh, DA forms, uh, 31, um, requests for leave, um, everything to LESs. Um, and then you get into like certificates and um, diplomas, orders, uh, everything that you can think of, put it in your I Love Me book. Now you're new to the army, you have to understand that you're going to get pieces of paper that you will need not just for the rest of your career, but pieces of paper that you need for the rest of your life. Um, and it's very, very important. I've gotten discounts for ski tickets uh, by having certain forms that were in my I Love Me book. Uh, and that's after I got out of the military. Now I'm going back into the military. Um, forms like your DD-214 um, are very important because of RE codes, because of just the stuff that you've done in the military. Uh, when you get into certain things like your diplomas, um, having those, the, the original documents are very, very big and very, very important for you. Having those original documents is something that you cannot replace. And so you want to have every single document that you can think of that you have. Uh, and so that, that's the I Love Me book. And, and when, so when somebody says, start an I Love Me book, keep an I Love Me book, do it. Now, you might say, come on, get up with the times, man. Keep it all on, on digits. Do it. If that's the way you want to do it, I say do it. I would suggest, though, always having a hard copy. Because what's going to happen is you have your originals. Keep it in the safe. Can't be burned. Can't be flooded. Nothing can happen to it. Keep your originals, but also have copies of absolutely every row your I Love Me book and be very, very generous with it. Put everything in it and don't ever take it out. You never know what documents you might need in the future. Question number two, is Joe Rumor true or false? Help me out, prior service. Help me out, guys. Joe Rumor is true and false. There's a lot of good things that you can get from Joe Rumor, but there's a lot of things that are just completely false. So you can't base your whole world on what you're hearing from just the other Joes, just the other soldiers. Joe Rumor is one of those things that you can get an idea or a feeling about what something's going to be. Don't put money on it because what's going to happen is it's going to fail you. So Joe Rumor is one of those things that I would suggest requires discernment. So let's say a buddy of yours has a buddy who's actually gone to a school and has some ideas, things that you can bring that 
um, aren't on the packing list. But that's Joe Rumor because you heard from a buddy that heard from a buddy. You have no idea if it's true or false. So what you can do, possibly, is you go out and get those items and bring them to the school. Or you can go off of the actual packing list and uh, not get booted because you brought extra items. So Joe Rumor is one of those things that you have to take with a grain of salt. Yes, there's some truth in it, but most of the time, it's not all true. Question number three, what is the fear monkey? So this is another fun one for me. The fear monkey is something that you will hear about typically when it comes to land navigation. Land nav can be notorious for uh, making people quit. Land navigation is something that I enjoyed. Up until this time, I've literally never missed a point. Uh, now I've come close, but I've never missed a point. Um, you'll hear people say when somebody fails to get to a point or comes in late um, or it's in the middle of the night, they'll say, ah, the fear monkey got you. Or is the fear monkey climbing on your back? Or is the fear monkey riding you? What it's really hinting at is allowing fear to overtake you essentially um, the fear of not finishing on time the fear of the dark the fear of letting others down and especially in the middle of the night when you're all alone it can actually pile on so they kind of joke about the fear monkey but that's really what it is um, the fear monkey is just something that hits everybody and uh, and really the test of one's character is is getting through it with a fear monkey riding on your back question number four if you're not cheating, you're not trying. True or false? Now this is a question I could actually ask you. You're new to the military, you're new to the army, but you're gonna hear, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. Tell me, true or false, what do you think? <laughs> if you're former military or you're current military, you'll probably say true. And then if you're new to the military or maybe you're a family member, you might say false. This is one that can almost go either way. This could be true or false. And I have to give you an example. Once I was lined up with about a hundred other individuals waiting to go to a school. And the class that was open only had about 10 spaces left. And so they were, they took the first like four just on alphabetical order. And then they stopped and they said, wait a second. Who here has a college degree in chemistry? And <laughs> in my mind, I was like, uh, I have a pre-med degree. And so I just raised my hand, right? There was four of us that had a chemistry degree and they took us. And you know what? They never even checked to see if I had a chemistry degree. So do you consider that cheating or do you consider that honest? I don't know. All I do know is this. That in that case, if you're not cheating, you're not trying, actually helped me get into the class earlier and get through my courses quicker. Where this question becomes false is when you're actually cheating against the standard. And that's where this would be completely false. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. Essentially, if you're cheating yourself or cheating the team, it's going to hurt you in the long run. What it does mean is that you need to, before you give up, exhaust every single idea, every single possibility. You need to figure it out. That is the point. It has nothing to do with being immoral. The fifth question is, should I guard my TA-50? Your TA-50 is the gear that will be issued to you by the government. Let me just tell you right now, you probably, when you sign the form, will not understand just how much your TA-50 cost, but it is expensive. You will have multiple opportunities to take your TA-50 and put it in wall lockers and either lock it or not lock it. You will have multiple opportunities to leave your TA-50 setting in your car where it can be seen by people walking by. I will tell you right now, guard your TA-50 or it will go bye-bye and you will pay for it. All right, guys, let's review these questions very quickly. You are new to the army. And so question number one is, what is the I Love Me book? And the I Love Me book is the book that you need to put all of your paperwork into. 
Number two is, is Joe Rumor true or false? Joe Rumor is true and false. Take it with a grain of salt. Number three is, what is the fear monkey? The fear monkey is something you never need to worry about. Don't let it ever affect you. Just keep moving forward. Number four is, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. True or false? Sometimes it can be true, but mainly it is false. The fifth question that we are answering today is, do you guard your TA-50, your government-issued gear? And that is an absolute, definite true, or you will pay for it. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you found this information helpful, would you please like, subscribe, share this video, and hit the notification bell. That way you can stay up to date with everything that I'll be doing in the future. Finally, if you would, join me on Instagram at Keeping Up With The Ninjas. And hey, until the next time, don't quit.